Okay, so next up, Safecracker Truant Officer. No, let's throw it into his oh, bank. Hello, Poppins. And now, you're mine. Now, do I get to keep this guy, or is he is he gone forever? He's gone forever. Okay. Submit turn. Okay, I really wish I could skip this. Okay, so what did, what has changed? So he's put a guard up. He put some people in Weeper's bank. That's it. Holy crap, truant officers are not cheap. Oh, but he killed my gang. How the hell did he kill my gang so fast? I'm impressed. And a little bothered. Well, let's stab his dude. Let's get Art Critic. I already used the dagger this turn. Okay. I'm here. Let's go. Well. I'm just gonna make an eviction machine. Okay. Probably burgling these places is kind of moot. He's been here already. Okay. Might be able to scout. Let's just let's just burgle. See if I can make some money here. Um, could pop a saboteur. I'm just curious how how he keeps killing my gangs. For better or worse, let's get one of these guys. Toss him in there. I want him to survive. But it might not be a good idea to do that anymore. Okay, so let's submit. Let's actually watch this time. I just wish it would go like two times speed instead of just skip enemy turn. Okay. So if they've got the bag of money, maybe that means they've recovered. Yeah, that probably means they've recovered their monetary value. But that was his only action. I don't know. Okay. So there's his gang there. We gotta take him up before he gets too much more dangerous. Well, let's find out. He actually made that easier for me, honestly. Partially, at least. Okay, so Emma's turn. So we've got a couple of things we can do. One, do I have Poison Blade yet? I do now. Let's go stab this guy in the everything. There he goes. Okay, so then let's steal that for some art and some money. Oh. I'll take that. Okay, and let's burgle even harder. Awesome. I am reaching an understanding of how this game works, sort of. Give me our urchins. Let's keep working on evictions. Let's hire another thug. Okay. Okay, so she's out of turns, he's out of turns, everybody's out of turns. Unfortunately, we've only got two to his five. I'm hurting him hard, but I don't know if that's enough. Okay, submit turn. I'm just gonna do my best here. I wonder if you can actually save mid mid round here. <laughs> ah. Hello, children. Christ. That was expensive. At least we don't need that many lanterns left, but, uh... Now, you're mine. Freaking... Urchin Thief. 
is rough. Okay. Well, at least we'll, we have the Eviction Master, so we can hopefully just start doing some horrible things to his... his infrastructure. Okay, so he does two damage. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, that's rough. I don't know how he has this much money. I... but... I guess part of it is, uh, he started with, uh, tech that I didn't have. Putting me in a much, much harder position. Well, at least we're winning slowly, so let's... Stabs, dude. Okay, so any of these houses with a, uh... Nope. I don't get it. Are these all goons? Yeah. Okay, how do we want to do this? I guess let's burgle his uh, king's pantry. We just scout it. There's not much there. That's it for her turn. Okay. So let's start off evicting his, like, banks and stuff. Let's get damage. Because gold per kill would be nice, but uh, if he can't survive, then what's the point? Saving up for that second gang. Um, Master Scout would be kind of useful. Hard stuff for Thug. Safecracker. Let's get Safecracker. If I can get a second gang rolling around... Uh, that might help, because then we can start really moving. Hello. Well, I can only I'm afford only one urchin here. It is a bit rough. We'll live. Yeah, it... Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me how, how this guy is putting out as many dudes as he is. What? Okay, so that's some art. There's a thug there. He's not finding anything useful. Another lump hammer. He's gonna shank that. He's gonna go for the picture. Okay. As long as he's not stabbing my, uh, my gang. I'm fine. Okay. And he gets his own gang. His gang's going after one of these. Well, that's fine. He'll just keep taking out the uh, the random thugs from the the environment, and I'm going to keep uh, destroying his his dudes before they can. Okay. Emma's turn. Can we actually even? What? Okay. So we do have diamond there. Okay. So let's go stab his gang before that gets any further. And let's go evict all of his urchins. Because that'll cost him a pretty penny to replace. Though, again, I'm not actually sure if... Uh, I'm, I'm really not sure if uh, the AI cheats in this game or not. My usual assumption is that uh, the AI always cheats. But you never know. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. So they max out at 5 HP. Okay. okay. I'm going to put him there. Make that harder. What? Let's go. Let's go. Hire another one of these. I mean, admittedly. Oh, yeah. We don't have much to do past this point. Okay, so... My other gang's purely evictions. This guy is going to be, uh... Damage. Having two gangs out is good. That gives me some potential longevity. And that means I can hire two, always. The only problem is... I'd love it if I could actually... Up my... 
damage. Well, hmm. Let's get another urchin. Let's throw him in the bank. Hopefully he'll just leave me alone for a moment. Worst comes to worst, it's a distraction. But I need that income. I guess honestly, once I fill the whole thing, we can make sure that it's always trapped, just in case. Indeed. Oh. Okay, so that hurts. But distracted. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any points to work uh, work with. I, I think I can do this. I if this AI was actually aggressive about winning as opposed to just being a total jerk, that'd be that would be different. Okay. So Emma. is going to stab. I don't actually need to do that. It just makes o? me feel better. Is it o? Okay. What else we got? Cannot move there. I guess I'll check that out. If it's if it's dark, that Sorry? means maybe burglable for Moolah. Thank you. Okay, so we took a hit. Not pleased about that. Let's evict the Nod. Well, we sprung his trap. And we're also trapped here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just kill this guy. Okay, so let's recruit another thug. Let's toss okay. him into this group. recruit him. I'm going to set a trap on the bank. And we're just going to take money. Because everything else here, I mean, Master Scout would be nice, but we've pretty much filled this out. And we'll get our daily urchin. Okay. I guess I could have put it into the trading house, but honestly, we don't need lanterns at this point. I'm probably just going to focus in on, um, oh, we got to get the, uh, we got to get the church back, too. But yeah, I'm just going to focus on uh, making money at this point. Oh, job's done. What? Interesting. He went for him. Oh, he does three damage now. That's worrying. And he delivers a bribe. Well, that's okay. I can get that, too. So he's going to get that money. Okay, well, let's speed past this. So he, he gets the gems. Oh, Jesus. We're never escaping this, are we? Okay, fine. I guess I'm going to start getting gold per kill. Because it seems like he's just going to ignore that. Okay. Stab his dude. Yeah. Uh. Of course. Let's evict his dude from the church. I guess we'll start doing gold per kill. If only we get gold per eviction. That'd be nice. Hello. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to keep Weeper's bank trapped at all times to keep it. But three coins a turn makes it worth it. Okay, so she still has actions. That's totally dead. Let's check Hound's Ditch. Eh, he's only got one person there. Going for money. Okay, uh, so let's... Do we get another thug? Sure. Get another thug, toss him on my gang. Not sure if that was actually the right thing to do, but it'll be okay. And nothing else. Okay, submit. I'm just gonna skip his turn. We'll just have to figure out what happens whenever it happens. 
I just don't want to see it every time. Okay, so we're going to stab this guy. All right. And does that that counts as a kill? So let's let's get the money. Gladly. Blocked. Oh, okay. Guess I got to stab this guy. Oh, that's fine. I feel like Yeah, I mean we've effectively bankrupted him in most ways. So if we can just keep this going, we're good. Okay, so let's evict let's evict the nod. Uh, let's do damage. Gold per kill. Not that we have a whole lot to kill. Okay, and I hate doing this, but we're gonna recruit this guy and go after a lump hammer yet again. Okay. Next up, might as well start scouting just to see burgling. A little bit more money. A little bit more money. Okay. So I'm going to toss the saboteur on Weeper's Bank again. And we're going to... Gangs are full. Get an urchin, toss him in the church. Gets us a little bit more money. Get a thug. Toss them onto the pile. The idea of using thugs as roadblocks makes sense to me, but I don't think it would ever actually work out that way. Okay, and let's buy Master Scout seeing as we're here. So we have another action. Shame we can't stab somebody twice here. But that'll have to do. Okay, submit turn. Do we watch him? Like... I want to watch his, his turns, it just takes so long. He can't do anything. Interesting that he doesn't get the, uh, he doesn't get charity. Not gonna complain too much. Okay, well we've he's got the king's pan. Well, let's go after sure. Hound's Ditch. Okay, gold per kill. Though honestly, I I'm not entirely What's sure that? if he's even gonna survive another round. Let's go after Mr. <laughs> Swiveller. He's looking bad. What else? do we have here? Actually, it looks like almost everything has been burgled at this point. Bar none. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have gotten Master Scout. Already burgled, already burgled. Already burgled? It, it looks like, uh, potentially at this point, these businesses don't re-get money. Okay. Sure. Well, let's murder him for a nice little windfall. I assume we do get money from that, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. So let's max out the gold per kill. And, yeah, there's nothing I can do there. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. toss him on the eviction gang. Uh, mm -hmm. Get another one. He just needs to be able to live. Okay, she can't do anything even if I wanted to. I'm gonna toss him on Hound's Ditch. It seems like uh, Ligrave is much more interested in going after um, the orphanage than anywhere else. So we probably want to save up for the... We probably want to save up for the, the bribe, seeing as he does have one. Okay, so she can still do... Honestly, nothing. There's kind of like a couple of businesses that we can do, but that's it. Okay. Oh, because he bought a bribe, it's more expensive for me. That makes total sense. 
Well, that's fine. So let's skip. Let's see. So he didn't... He seemingly did nothing. Oh. No, he did. Yeah. Let's go. He evicted my urchin from uh, Houndsditch. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Let's evict his king's pantry. Yeah, so he's... Oh, wait. I might not have burgled these places in the back. Oh, he's maxed out. Somehow. Yeah, if the AI... Unfortunately... Fortunately, fortunately, the AI in this game is very, um... It cheats early to make it hard, and then gets easier. Which is crazy useful. Okay, so let's get another thug. Okay. Toss him there. Let's get another urchin. What? That's gay. Toss him lump in lump hammer. Get another urchin. Boy. Toss him in the trading house. Okay, so my my oh my churches are not full. Oh, well, let's get one more. Hello. Yeah, and right, the tables then. have turned, and now here I am. Let's do that. Uh, let's get a thug. Toss him there. Make it impossible for him to. Oh, he got another bribe though. Well, that's fine. Uh, I'll get the next one. She really can't do anything anymore. Oh, that's okay. So yeah, I can take Sharpshank's estate. My main goal here is to make sure he doesn't get any money. Uh, if he can use the Truant Officer against me, I'd be... Uh, uh, I'd be annoyed. Dude kind of sucks. Okay. So he's coming for my gangs at this point. Yeah. Let's see. Can you even get here? Yes. Unfortunately, gangs will not be able to survive past this point here. Ish. They kind of will, now that I'm thinking about it. I guess I'll put points into eviction, question mark? Okay, so let's start going for Sharpshanks' as estate. And Butcher's End. Yeah, I guess we could actually use and abuse thugs more often, just drop him outside of various locations, or just block him in. It might not be a bad idea to do that. Okay, uh, let's get a thug, toss him in the gang. Another thug. Toss him in the gang. Pricey. Get an urchin. Boy. Toss him in the king's pantry. Effectively, I'm going to make it so he can't urchin any of these buildings even Hello. if he wanted to. Course. Mainly just to uh, serve as a perpetual distraction here. Okay, uh, now that I've done that, can I get the first, uh, the final, the final bribe? Oh, There's a limited amount of bribes that you can get. Well, I'll just keep taking gold, I guess. And she still has actions, but nothing I can do here. As the main thief gets stronger. Gangs become less useful. Okay, so he took he took out my thug? No, he stabbed he stabbed that thug. Well that's acceptable. Yeah. Okay. Hello, mate. So let's stab this guy. Yeah. Let's stab let's her. Go. Stab her again. Get the contract. 
and get the final bribe. So, fair point, uh, seeing as I got some complaints on the first episode for this, I guess last episode? Or, no, 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 two episodes ago, I'm splitting this one in two. Uh, I do play very slowly and very safely in these games. Uh, so generally my victories are going to be rather sluggish. Uh, and I'm generally going to focus on taking over the city first before ending, uh, going for victory points. Because I find going the opposite direction for me usually just results in a loss. Uh, though obviously it's all kind of subjective and whatever. We got that done, and we do have a new mission. Oh, let's take a look at it. Corrupt clergy. Lightfinger crosses paths with Mathild. Mathild? Probably like Matilda. Just spelled differently. And the clergy gets involved. Okay. Well, we'll have to look into that. For now, though, I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode of Anti-Hero. And as always, thanks for watching.